Ooh, child. It's just, it's just so much. You know what I'm saying? I gotta put an intro on this other video. Um, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to the video. You dig what I'm saying? What the goddamn hell? Yeah, to the video. Y'all enjoy this intro, child. This is a hot mess. Okay, we're gonna continue this conversation. All right. My my kind friend Sheree, my one of my faithful leaguers, just said I went through postpartum. You literally are a whole different human. I was not myself when I went through postpartum and me and my baby daddy relationship crumbled because he was going through it too. I, I, wow. It is no excuse for you to put a fucking three, your three month old child outside at 3 a.m. It's no excuse for that. But postpartum for me, because nigga, are you crazy? <laughs> like yesterday, I did say if I was her, I would have left, and I still would have. I'm not going to lie. I would have wrapped my baby up like a damn pig in a blanket on God, and we would have been the hell up out of there. I meant that. Okay? I, <laughs> I really meant that. But um, my, my baby daddy kicked me out too. I just, <laughs> it's not right. But this shit is happening. Y'all don't know how many stories I've heard of this same shit. Girl, Joelle left Lauren and uh, uh, her baby on the corner one day and drove off. These motherfuckers is crazy. God, it's almost like they got it worse. I always tell people what you allow a man or anybody, men with women, whatever you allow a person to do, they're going to continue to do it. You let him do it to you the first. Your pride would have been damaged, Nick. Girl, a pig in a blanket. I would have been holding my baby like D. <laughs> okay? Me and my baby would have been gone because I got money. I got enough money to be able to do what the fuck I need, bitch. I'm out. I don't need them clothes. Somebody was like, uh, them was her clothes so she could get her, she can buy more clothes. I see, I'm the type, I'm going to leave everything. I swear to God, I don't need this, this, uh, materialistic shit. God forbid anything ever happened to me and TT, baby. All I need is my computers. <laughs> like, uh, like, you can have it. Oh, I, I literally am that type. And if you've dealt with a Leo before, that's how we are. You can have all that shit. I need my computer, and that's it, okay? My computer and my monitors, baby. I'm up at this bitch. You can have the rest, respectfully. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's it for me. My pride is a motherfucker. I, I'm have definitely half dude, for sure. I'm definitely half dude. I'm up at that bitch. That would have fucked up my whole pride. He told me to get out. And my baby? <laughs> my baby? My three-month-old? Baby? Oh, okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Second and third time, so he's like, fuck. I would have never seen that baby again. Fuck you. If you don't even have respect for yourself, never. he or she is not going to respect. Girl, I would have got me a pet, a basketball player, a football player, nigga. That baby would have been a stepdaddy. Okay? And he would have been hurt. I'm trying to tell y'all, that's why God knew. God was like, oh, I can't put, I can't do this. Uh, you, I'm not doing this. Mm-mm, we not doing that with you. Girl, would have had a basketball player, another rapper nigga, as the stepfather. Do you hear me? <laughs> Wiz Khalifa is out here taking care of the baby's baby. We in pictures, he holding the baby. Girl, y'all gonna be fucked up. Respect you. You <laughs> lost that respect, it's gone. Well, it I'm is gone. So you can't make this man like you now. Because he doesn't have that respect level for you. So you need to get the fuck up and go. I feel like I need to go on live because at this point it's already out there. And I feel like I'm never going to speak ever again. And I feel like I might as well just let the go. And I just feel like it's so unfair, this situation, because... Thank you, Cinderella. This whole time I've been nothing but straight 
with this man and oh god tried, bug bugler. tried you know what i'm saying that baby would have been in my damn Nothing shirt you would got all this one for this man <laughs> from the jump from the jump three years ago from the key i'm trying to and yeah. of course all this internet all this everything that baby would have had a stepdaddy always soon. <laughs> with something in our relationship and it's definitely unfortunate we have a child so it's just like the baby would have seen his baby with a double digger but girl he'd have been ready to kill me i just it ain't fair my whole everything y'all think i'm a bird because of this man y'all did this and that like no nah, it was never that it was never that and i ain't here to clear nothing with nobody because i don't give a what nobody thinks about me but and then in the day, like, I'm never spoken on anything. I've never addressed anything because I didn't want to Y'all just imagine. We've never seen her on camera like that. We've never, ever, ever seen this woman on camera like this. Ever. This ain't her. I, I don't care what y'all saying, man. I feel like this is postpartum. This ain't her. This is not her. It. We've never but seen it's on always camera. the narrative on what it is because they think like this it. is the type of girl I am and this is not no nah. so no nah. and yeah. and then this nigga go live on her phone that ain't some shit he do either like what are you what are you doing <laughs> nigga did you go live on her phone he mr i don't address nothing mr i don't care had to chew gum just to keep his nerves together <laughs> nigga that ain't you either like i can't believe he went live on her phone what are you doing it's just ugly it's ugly from both of them man i this i feel like this is genuinely postpartum man like i don't know if y'all thought i like I took that in a disrespectful way like it's not disrespectful. This real life shit. This is what people go through after pregnancies. <sighs> Men have it too. Like for real. What he did was out of line. Like what are you doing? She on camera crying. Like this is not. We ain't never seen her like that. Out of this. nowhere, bro. Out of nowhere. I just. <sighs> And I'm trying so hard to just I just pray mama go. Then he come up and he post this like a dumb ass. But um I don't think she's gonna leave, y'all. I think she's just hurt. And he gonna get back in that head and they're gonna talk again. I, I feel it. I, I feel it. I feel it. I that nigga gonna be like, man, I wasn't myself. I was not myself. I buy you a yacht. Uh I take care of your family for two years. Uh, I just want to see my baby. That's how it's going to start. I just want to see my baby. He going to want to see his baby, child. He love his kids. And I just, I just, I cannot understand him doing that. I think she going to take him back too, though. I'm telling you, that nigga going to have to buy her a jet. <laughs> Something. But yeah, she going back to him. She love him. She love that chocolate and she love that dick. Let's just be real. I feel it. I feel just it. Like it's just this time it just hit the social media. But girl, she might have to stick to her word. But I'm telling y'all, I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. She gonna go back. So then the baby come out, and it's what he's saying. This is some real deal, Hollywood. That nigga had. But it's all gone. good. Y'all just don't be fooled. Don't be distracted. Don't be fooled, man. You know. I'm just like, nigga, ain't nobody being distracted or food, stupid. You know, I'm tired. <laughs> Way no snow chase. Ain't that what she said? Oh, this is too much. This nigga just said a bunch of nothing. And then here come Mimi posting this on her shit. And I'm like, girl, shut the fuck up. Oh, here come Mimi posting this on her right. shit. And I'm like, girl, shut the fuck up. You acting like you not a doormat too, baby. He playing ping pong with both of y'all. Okay, relax. She's doing it by choice. Just saying. The only reason you don't go through the shit is because you stay the fuck quiet. And I like Mimi. I think she's beautiful. But you be staying quiet. You do what the fuck he say and you play your role. And that's why you and him don't bump heads or have any problems. Because you stay in your place. And that 
that's the place you want to be. Like, literally, that's the place she wants to be. That's fucked up. You a I woman, honey. You scared to do what the fuck you want to do, speak your mind, and be Honestly, with her. Mimi didn't say a bunch of nothing. I seen a little bit of it. Girl, Mimi wasn't talking about shit. I couldn't even get into it because she never. Mimi is the type to start a sentence and not finish it, and I just could not do it. We are looking Real like men that love you, but because you sit there and allow this man to walk over you, go get another girl pregnant, and all this other shit, and you think because he come back to you that you're special? No, you're dumb. And I'm being real. He go and fuck this girl, that girl, and he come back to you and fuck you and then run off to them, and you think because you was the first one, the main one, that you the main bitch. No, bitch, none of y'all are main. Y'all are dumb. 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 <laughs> Jesus. Hey, Danny goes, she shows the plan B, I guess what sparked the whole thing. Cause maybe, he, like she said, he wanna just come and hunt, get her pregnant, whatever the case. Y'all see me respond, it's a clap back. It ain't nothing I'm nothing. initiating, it's me clapping back. And I'm gonna clap back to anybody. I don't give a mother Like, that's just how it go. Like, and I really hate that the internet and that's the thing y'all ain't even really in my business because y'all don't know shit like y'all be these y'all assumptions that y'all make up like nobody really knows what's really going on like bitch shut up we know everything that was a bunch of nothing for me because y'all put it out there talking about we and they we, we couldn't be in nobody's business if you didn't put your business out there making assumptions on what we see what the fuck going on we see that he Bounce back and forth playing hot. Cinderella, she fine too, huh? Talk about she got dimples too. Scott's with both of y'all. We see that he got you pregnant yeah, and her pregnant. Did say we she see fine. this. I'm y'all ass. So what the fuck is we assuming and making up when it's the fucking shit that we see? You know what I'm saying? And it's supposed to be that much. I don't see, we don't see half of this. Like, we don't see half of y'all on Instagram in real life. Like, what we talk about, like, I think Instagram just dumped a claim and play. Well, social media period just dumped a a place with mother really like, I don't know. I don't know. She look like what him. they want. Look I, at me and look at the baby. Ain't even been a <laughs> that nigga look like her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like y'all look just. I like don't know. I don't know. And yeah, when I did expose I that, it was for me and him. That was a mother. I ain't even finna go into that. But you get what I'm saying? That was that was something I understood. That was not for y'all pleasure. Like that was something that I did on my own for a particular reason. Like, it wasn't never no, that's why y'all ain't seen me do, I ain't said shit. Like, I don't have a desire to, like, but yeah, all that, I'm a bully or I'm laughing at a woman's pain and man, I don't know what y'all talking about. All that. I don't fuck about none of that. Fuck about my pain. You feel me? In my face, at least I ain't rubbing. I'm laughing at you because I'm laughing at you. I ain't laughing at the situation. I'm laughing at you because, baby, it ain't fun when the rabbit got the gun. And it's crazy how the mother was turned. You feel me? Like, she laughed at her last year. I'm telling you. And that's the moral of the story. Like, I feel on you, that. You, any, so let me, be, let me put y'all up on game real quick. I'm going to put y'all up on the little game. Sprinkle, sprinkle. If you are messing with a. But let me tell y'all women something. She said a whole lot of nothing. I don't know nothing. what the fuck she was talking about. And yeah, I was nothing. like, let me figure out what the fuck she's saying. So I had to skim through the comments. I'm like, she just babbling. So they said, basically, she's saying karma is a motherfucker for Danny because she said Danny knew what the fuck she was getting herself into. She knew what was going on. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah. And then she said Danny knew that she was with the baby at the time when Danny started sleeping with the baby. But now Danny wants sympathy. And I, I, I get it. You know, and I get it. You know what I'm saying? And that's why her and Danny was having that little issue at the beginning. Remember? And that's when Mimi was like, he ain't going nowhere. He gonna always come back to me. And I, and it is what it is. So it's just like karma's playing back. You know, you don't have this baby and now he treating you how he was treating her. And the girl told you she wasn't going nowhere. So then the baby goes live today, because all this was last night. So then the baby goes live today and Danny is still there. So I guess she didn't get put out. But girl, just let him talk. Dang. I go get everything, you know, everything. Anything a baby can possibly have, I go get it. I set it up at the penthouse down here in the city. But I'm making clear that I'm making 
Right here. Go, here you go. This nigga was absolutely out of his character too. It's cool. He, I couldn't even recognize him. But I'm making it clear that I'm making it end up. Go and ahead, it's the thing. Everybody go ahead. And I'm, and I'm glad y'all know. Here, go ahead. Clear here, those here, come on. Come on. Come on. And I'm, you're scared. And I'm glad. No, no, I'm not scared. Look, and I'm glad she walked out. So as you can see, nobody was put out. And that's not her. So this is why I keep talking about postpartum. That is not her. We have never seen this woman like this. <laughs> this is not her. Mm -hmm. and oh, me calling me him? calling the police yeah, that's like for my so safety because this what I'm because this what I'm dealing with okay. like this is a real deal cuckoo for cocoa okay. look, 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 look cuckoo for cocoa puff you're, you're. and shout is not my girl <laughs> ain't never been my girl is my side it's your what you know, my it's side your... is Ooh. a certified side <laughs> like a lot of my like Shawty is a certified side. Oh. Just trying to act like she ain't. No, let, let's Still take it though. There's no she my side. Everybody knows she's a side. Oh my God. She don't want y'all to know she's a side. She got to save her face. She got to crash all the way out. Call them folks. Save me. Help. You see how Shawty went storming off when that truth came out. Listen, so let me finish telling y'all what I'm telling y'all. Like both of you see us. what I'm saying? Like, okay. This is and not. Be okay with that. You are not my um, girl. Like you I'm gotta not your girl, look at okay, Charlie. Crazy. Post it. I'm gonna post everything since we've been talking. Post it. I got. Listen. That's Three cool. Years ago, post and it. I'm not your girl. Post Masterpiece. What? Post would you have me in a video? Okay. Whatever. Whatever, bro. Why would you have me around your family? Whatever, bro. Why would you have me in your house? Why would you have me have a closet in look your home? Why would you have me have a bathroom? Okay, look, we're gonna check out right now. I'm, you know, y'all. It was her saying the bathroom for me. Got my perspective. Yeah. I gotta get back to pushing yeah, the new project that. out. That's why. That's yeah, that's why. Y'all be good. Go stream. That's look why. like something. That's this right here is embarrassing. Look at this. 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 Look Girl, I'm telling y'all, I would have been gone, gone. Y'all know how little Boosie would call and ask for a ride. <laughs> Girl, she could have called me. I would have pulled up. Okay? Like, I'm out. I'm really, y'all, at 3 o'clock in the morning, I'm telling you, my baby would have been in my shirt. Clearly, all she needed was milk and diapers. Okay? Uh, apparently she ain't had a clothes, whatever that situation was, whatever. I'm out. I am not about to be somewhere you do not want me to be. You got one time to tell me to get the fuck out of anywhere. I'm gone. Fuck that. I just would have left. I would have left because you did, you called the police on me one. Then you, you already threatened to put me and my three month old child out. Now you're on live. The next. You go to the point you gotta call them folk. I'm really out. I ain't trying to be around 12, nigga. I'm gone. Fuck that. Niggas got mad when I said to, uh, for her to get an Uber. <clears throat> Y'all. Or she could have asked the police to take her anywhere she needed to be. My point is, bruh, I wouldn't have never been in that situation where I ain't had no motherfucking car. And I didn't have a, a <clears throat> ownership over my situation. And I got money. Fuck that. Y'all like money not everything. Money not everything, but money buy what you need, nigga. And at that moment, she needed a car. She needed a car to get the hell out of there. Girl, I'm not about to be down. I ain't got no fucking car. No. Hell no, y'all. Uh-uh. I have to have some type of control over my situation. Because one thing I do, I never do nobody like that. I would never do my baby mama like that. I wouldn't have put her out like that. You know what I'm saying? Period. <clears throat> but she not going to do me that either. Okay? I wouldn't have never put her out like that. Okay? But no, you're not going to do that to me. Okay? <laughs> you're not going to do that to me. I have to have some type of control over my situation. But I'm the type to, to take care of my household anyway. But I'm the type to leave too. So I don't have to put you out. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to put you out. Fuck that. I can go. You know what I'm saying? He should have left. I don't get that. He should have left. Next day, he's saying, I'm not your girl. I'm cuckoo for Coco Puffs and all that. This is why I said she ain't going nowhere. She's staying with him, y'all. She ain't going nowhere. This man. I don't know what to tell her.
Long story short, you make them kids deal with what come with it, handle them kids. You got in the bed, lay in it, and deal with what come with it. But don't let nobody play with your character, man. And damage your integrity as a father out here. Don't let nobody play real life, real life games. You know what I'm saying? For a fake world, like that ain't that ain't what I do. You know what I mean? I'm an entertainer, I rap, I do what I do. But when it comes to like parents and like, I don't wish to mix the two. Only reason why the world know I got kids because I adore my kids. You get what I'm saying? And I can't help but to but to show somebody my kids. I really love and adore my kids. I'm really that type of father on and off the internet. You get what I'm saying? Ain't, ain't nothing about no kids with me for the internet. That's not the case on the other end. You see what I'm saying? So. Long story short, you make that bed lay in it. Lay in it. You may have to go through this, but stand up in it and go through it and still take care of them kids. I'm gone, love. Right back to work. And I'm just like, child, if guilt was a person, honey, he just did all that. So stop catching. Nah, I live in, not don't live in Charlotte, but I'm from Charlotte, excuse me. <clears throat> them buses stop, go, uh, stop running at <clears throat> 2 a.m. I think the last bus is at 2 a.m. If I'm mistaken, 12. No later than 12, no later than 2. Now, a Uber running all motherfucking night. And the reason why I would have called the Uber is because if that's the only way I got to be able to leave, then that's what I'm going to do. I'm going I'm to survey who the fuck is coming to pick me up. And I would, like I told y'all, I would have went down the hall to find an a, a older woman that could help me. My point is... See, I'm relentless, though. I'm relentless, and my pride can't be fucked with because I got to go. I'm out. I don't need them fucking clothes. I buy my baby some old clothes, girl. That Give me a reason to go shopping. Fuck them clothes. Like, they her clothes, she bought them. Fuck them clothes, okay? I'm telling y'all, my baby would have been wrapped like a pig in a blanket. That baby would have been with me. Me, I'm the mama. You would have, by any means necessary, the only thing I can do is protect my baby. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out, y'all. I don't give a fuck about none of that. One of those bitter baby mama charges, honey. That's all that was. Boy, uh, hush. I'm out. You just doing a whole lot of nothing. Just a whole lot of nothing. So then Danny goes and she posts all the stuff they've been doing. In Charlotte, a hood type place like Chicago, no. And if it looked like she was in the city of Charlotte, the city of Charlotte is nowhere near hood. On the outskirts, yes. You go to the west side, that's hood. Go to the east side, that shit hood. South side got a little hood spot. Downtown, you ain't around nobody but these folk. That's why I got the fuck up out of there. I couldn't do it no more. I had to be around some melanin, okay? But you around these folk, that's it. And in the city, uptown, yeah, it ain't nothing but nice places, Ubers available, taxis available. Oh, she could have got somewhere. She, I'm telling you, she, I would have been up out of there. Charlotte it is not one of them places. Not in the city part. Outside, yeah, something can happen. If she was in Atlanta, now that shit is questionable. If she was in Atlanta, Atlanta is different, okay? You don't know who the hell you're going to run into in Atlanta. But I will say you still have access to people in Atlanta that you could potentially be safe. But Charlotte, you definitely can be safe in the city part. Definitely. She didn't Since want to leave. 2019. It's about to be 2020. I didn't know you could be a side bitch for that long. A side bitch for that long? That's your girlfriend at this point. Y'all dang it. I'm That's a lie. He wasn't recording her at all. And why the fuck was she recording him and wasn't posting none of this shit? Shit is creepy. Sorry, I don't give a damn that what nobody creepy. say. Know your place, whatever the case may be. You've been fucking with me since 2019. I ain't no side bitch up in the hotel at the concert cooking for you, fucking me since 2019. Oh, bitch. I ain't no side bitch for that long. And we go together. We go together. At this point, he was just playing house with no intentions of staying. <laughs> that, that's what was going on, child. And you got played, girl. Ooh, dude, this is messy. So ladies, believe half of what a nigga tell you 
and all of what he's shown you. Y'all first discover me, Thank boom, you. I was pregnant. Okay. I was pregnant last year. I'm pregnant again. Like, God damn, like, bruh. And I don't play the clear shit up because it's like, y'all gonna believe what y'all wanna believe. That's y'all story. Y'all gonna stick beside it. Like, Mimi didn't say nothing to me. That's how y'all are set up. You know, everybody was speculating that Mimi might be pregnant because remember on October 27th, because Mimi always do shit after Danny. And it'd be like, bitch, okay, we doing the same thing over here in this house. So, you know, when uh, Danny and her baby, whatever case may be, now on October 27th, Mimi had posted a video of her child rubbing her stomach and it was saying, oh, it's the love for me, but Mimi saying she ain't pregnant, child. So then her Danny brother come out and he say, moving silent, keep my family out your mouth, internet gangster. I'm like, nigga, where the fuck were you in 2019 and 20 and 21? Where the fuck was you at? Shit the hell. You know, what I've been told from people that have babies is you will never be able to change uh, the relationship with a parent and their first child. And Danny Lay was trying to get the baby to, um, I feel like, <clears throat> pay more attention to the new little baby. Honestly. When he was in Charlotte, when the, the baby wasn't nothing at first. When he was in Charlotte, the nigga, we knew that Mimi was pregnant. As in Charlotte. Charlotte shit. We we knew that Mimi was pregnant, but he never showed nothing. <laughs> he The baby never showed shit. We was looking for pictures of that baby for a long time. He was not famous yet, but he was he was starting to. He had dropped uh, his first album. You know, he never rapped before. Niggas is, was involved, nigga, because we like, what the hell going on? Finally, somebody about to blow up out, out our city. So everybody was in his business, to be honest with you. He didn't show that baby till she was like one. I, I don't know what that was about, but he never showed that baby until she was one. And, and even with that new baby he got, he didn't show her. It seemed like she like six to eight months now. Maybe she's she could be one now, but he didn't show her as she was a little baby. He showed her, I'm sure, at six months or more. I think that's his MO. That's his thing. Like he he kind of don't deal with the baby until the baby is a certain age or something and and or publicly i'm not sure but he don't really show the babies as a as a as a what a baby you know what i'm saying um from me following him all these years I, but she's not gonna ever break that relationship he got with that first child he he loved all his kids i feel like but he really 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 love that baby that's his baby baby you okay he loved that baby she got his exact personality and his whole entire face like, you would never be able to do that. Hello, if you just trying to get clout off this situation, say that. So this is what you want to do. <laughs> this is where you want to take it. This crazy. Novi is one years old now, which is his other baby. My point exactly. This nigga called the cops on my sis. This want to disrespect my sister online for the world to see. Disrespect my family. You know what I'm saying? This don't even got nothing to do with my sister no more, bro. This got to do with me and you. You feel me? Cause you missed a tough guy over here beating up, knocking little, little, little guys out here and there. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna do that to me, first off. So this is what we gonna do, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm in a hospital right now. I got in a car accident. I got neck. I still beat you on neck like this, bro. On God. You know what I'm saying? So this is what we gonna do. When you come to the West Coast, bro, which I know you be out here, we gonna catch this one-on-one -on -one fade, bro. You know what I'm saying? One-on-one -on -one fade to see what happens between me and you. I want to see how much of a gangster you are, how much of a real man you are. You know what I'm saying? We could do that. We could catch this. Because, nigga, from what we get in in the streets, allegedly, y'all didn't give a fuck about her anyway. Okay. So why the fuck is you coming up there? You should have been beat this nigga ass. And looking at you, sugar foot, you ain't going to do shit anyway. The fuck up. You done pissed me off coming out now. Keep my sister name out your mouth. You should have said that long ago. Dummy. And then the baby gonna come out. So that means Danny is still there. Cause then the baby goes and posts the video with him and the child. You know. Bring uh, your gun, you know, okay? Come with it and come with it. Daddy first, celebrity after. If all that bullshit y'all was hearing was what it was, my baby wouldn't be right here on my arms. Cooler. She looked just like him. That's crazy. Cooler. I was hearing was what it was. My baby wouldn't be right here on my arms. 
cool. Now I'll take care of my kids, where I'm gonna take care of my kids. And the shouted family is trying to chime in and, and speak on the situation. Y'all don't even know her. She don't know y'all either. She ain't never seen y'all a day in her life. Shout it, mama, you ain't even met your grandbaby yet. Yeah, she gonna say, it's sad that y'all had to see my baby that way in this situation, but aren't you there? Can't you get the baby? What the fuck is going on? Like she just be trying to help, act like she helpless. Oh, <laughs> this both part of my own care. You didn't see him recording, or maybe she gone and she nah, she ain't leave that baby to have. You know what? I don't know what the fuck going on. No more. He got her. Y'all, that girl ain't leaving. She's not leaving. This just a mess. He a mess. He. A Trouble. Like, nigga, get rid of the gum. You had the gum last night. That stinking ass <laughs> gum in your mouth. Your breath still stank. But he acting like he the baby mama. <laughs> no way. That nigga is a character. And these that people baby fall for it. Oh my God. I'm just like, at this point, <laughs> he the one going through postpartum. <laughs> he is. I have never, ever, ever seen this nigga act like this. I haven't. This is postpartum. I'm telling you, he is so out of character for me. I am looking at him like, who the fuck is this? Okay? <laughs> who are you? I knew he was going through it when, the way he was chewing that gum. Okay? It was the gum for me. He just gave it all away with the gum. Yeah. Like, nigga, throw that gum out. That gum is old. Okay? It, lo it looks old. Okay? All the flavor gone out that gum. He tripping. Right. I don't know what. Rocking that baby like an angry baby. I'm looking at the bitch like, and why he rocking the baby so hard like that? Nigga, she don't even know you. <laughs> <laughs> get, get that baby back to her mama. You ain't even. He is acting like a scorn baby mama right now. The big now. Cause when you look at the baby, look at him like, nigga, I, I I'm even tired of your bullshit. And I've been here for three Oh my months. God. Yo, that is hilarious. That baby don't like him already. You can just look at how he's dealing with the baby that he don't even care about this baby or Danny child. He's just like, this is another one. Child, oh, I feel so bad for her. If this man don't do anything else, he's going to gaslight, and that is what he's doing. But the fact that she still is there, cause how he got the baby, the fact that she's still there says enough. Well, my mama. So, I don't know y'all. He wouldn't have did it if she was crying. Jay. Watch what I tell you, she ain't going nowhere. No, she ain't. Well, if it ain't about me. I agree, child, he done with the video, but I agree, I don't think she going nowhere either. I was going to make a video about these comments, child. At the end of the day, I'm not going to win either way. Um, and, and truthfully, I don't live in these people's house. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I just be reporting on the situation. Like, simple and plain. I literally pause my game to be here. You know what I'm saying? If y'all didn't notice. So, yeah, it's just like, you know. I'm going to pray for all parties in the process. I, uh, it's giving postpartum for me. And I hope everybody's all right. I pray, you know, apparently she got back to L.A. safe or the West Coast safe. So she should be fine. And that's all I got. Y'all be easy now. Be blessed.